course, it can be rewarding as well. Uh, what about your experience? Um, I, I think when you take psychedelics together, um, it, it, uh, you become very aware of uh, the, the, the ties you have to the other person. <clears throat> uh, if there are uh, uh, places in your relationship that are not solid, <coughs> uh, you become aware of them. Uh, as, as far as um, uh, uh, sharing uh, the same reality or the same images, that's very rare, but it's, uh, it can happen and it does happen. Uh, most of the time you find you're having quite different imagery and that's fine, you're two different people. Uh, you, they don't have to be the same. Uh, the, the fact is I think it's very important uh, to recognize and accept uh, and love the differences between you and your trips are going to be different but there is a certain experience I think probably uh, a lot of you have had um, where you you find yourself um, becoming one entity, and uh, this happens uh, with uh, making love, and you find yourself not only uh, together uh, that way, but you are connected all over the world with other people experiencing the same thing in the same way. It's a, a very it's a magnificent experience. One more question, I think. The gentleman standing in the back. We're moving into clinical studies now, and. Um, uh, what would your advice be? What difficulties did you think or dangers it might present to a new generation? I'm sorry, and opportunities? Advice? Uh, uh, you're going to have to repeat that question. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um, w because MDMA is now entering into clinical trials from safety and efficacy into actual human subjects trials, um, uh, clinical work, what, what advice do you have for the next generation of researchers and what difficulties might be faced? You were also asking about difficulties, weren't you? Fears about in, in, inexperienced therapists, about training, about integrating it effectively into um, mainstream medicine. Um, yeah, that's, I think uh, inexperienced therapists uh, or uh, therapists who haven't done enough work on their own psyche, um, uh, uh, had, uh, apart from. Whoo, uh, apart from any uh, drug use or non-drug use, uh, that's uh, one of the things that I think everyone dreads. Um, the thing about uh, the, the therapists who are using and have been using uh, MDMA with patients is all of them, as far as I know, have taken it themselves and done uh, work on their, uh, their own psyches before they give it to a patient. And that should be mandatory. Uh, if if you if you know the effects of MDMA, um, you are automatically going to be better able to handle uh, your patient's experience. Uh, the rest is is intuition and uh, experience in life, and um, there there is something that makes a really good therapist that has nothing to do with training or pieces of paper on the wall. You, you have it and you love it or you don't. And there aren't enough really great therapists in this world yet, but I think um, if MDMA comes back into legal use, uh, it, it, may, it may help the therapists as well as uh, the patients. As far as, as uh, warnings go, um, I don't think that if the patient has had a, a, a very important breakthrough experience in the first MDMA, 
it doesn't mean that he's going to need another one. Uh, one uh, experience is often enough. Uh, he'll get where he needs to go with that. That brings us to the close of our Q&A session with <laughs> Sasha and Anne. I want to thank them very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you.